Bye. today with another ex heroes reaction for you guys finally oh my goodness gracious me finally i was fully standing in a group here with only one song like how many of us were out here standing in a group with only one song it was ridiculous like but that just goes to show how incredible they are because we all literally fell in love with them off of one song um so i'm going to be reacting to their newest title track which is called test me i'm going to be reacting to the title track nmv and and i'm also going to be doing an album first listen i'm super 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 excited i didn't watch any teasers any of the little previews or anything like that i'm going into this completely blind let's just go Disclaimer, I don't like to react with captions on as I find them distracting. I like to concentrate on the music and the music production is what I like to comment on the most. When I'm looking at the words at the bottom of the screen, I'm missing parts of the song, their vocals, and I'm missing parts of the MV and choreo. I'll read the lyrics later in my own time. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Honestly, it's been a minute since I've been this level of excited, I feel. Ah! Okay, Extimani Heroes. Test me. MV. I need to relax. Let's go! Ah! Oh yeah, shit, the competition. The competition from the posters, that's what it is, isn't it? The com competition from the... Oh, oh, dum, 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 dum. And, oh shit. Sound. They 
I'm a 30 year old woman. I had way too much fun with that. Okay. I had so, literally, I feel like crying because I had so much fucking fun watching that just now. The reason why I mentioned that I'm a 30 year old woman is because I feel like right now they're definitely aimed at a younger audience i feel sound wise concept wise it's definitely aimed at a younger audience as most groups are when they first debut well these days they're a lot more adult even when they debut i feel i just think because k-pop's so big now anyway um but if you look at example like uh txt when they first debuted they definitely were catered to a younger sort of audience i feel like that's what's going on with the exponential heroes right now um, their, sound, their sound will probably change as they progress um, but right now it's definitely aimed at a younger audience and I don't know as a 30 year old woman sometimes I just need to let my hair down man I need to feel young again I need to feel like I am 13, 14 and can just not care about anything can just listen to the music, take it in and just have fun um, and that's one of the best things for me when it comes to K-pop because I don't know, I get to, yeah, I just get to be young, feel young, free, carefree, just for a minute, just for a minute whilst I'm watching that, and that's such an important thing for me. Um, okay, ran over about me feeling, <laughs> feeling young and carefree because of Extinity Heroes. I think that's why I love them so much as well, they just make me feel, I don't know, pure and just carefree, like I said. Anyway, let's talk about the instrumental a bit, I absolutely loved it, I loved, just, just, the instrumentation of course we're always going to get that band sound mixed in with more sort of like um electronic -y sounds like i just love that combination so much um i love that some point uh, you can hear Garnier on the drums um, and the drums just sounded so crisp but i also again i like the sort of electronic -y drum and bassy almost drums that come in uh during the uh pre-chorus so again, I love that mashup of sort of live instruments and sort of electronic sounds. Um, I love them, they're super, super catchy. It was almost hook after hook after hook. And that, ooh, uh, so many moments like that are gonna get stuck in all of our heads. Uh, just like their debut did, honestly and truly. I love how the, we had a slight switch up, slight switch up for the second verse. Uh, during the rap part. It wasn't a huge switch up, but it was there. Do you know what I mean? Um, I feel like there were switch ups within the song, just changes within the, the tempo, the rhythm, stuff like that. Um, but nothing too much to sort of take you out of the, the mood. The only thing that did bother me a little bit was when parts of the MV would um, cut out, just for the sake of like the concept and the storyline and stuff, which is fun. Don't get it twisted because I love that aspect of it all. That's one of the reasons what makes them so fun. They have such a unique concept that's different pretty much from everything that's going on right now and like they don't just do it a little bit like they're like fully in with this concept and i love that um but it was taking me out a little bit just of like the music itself because you know me i get lost in the music um they all look fantastic they all sounded fantastic they all played fantastic the mv was super super fun i loved the visuals i loved how it carried on the storyline from the 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 competition from their little their solo trailers from pre-debut. I did watch those. If you missed my reaction to that, you can go and catch it in my Xenero Heroes playlist on my channel. Um, I, I grasped that. I find it really, really hard to follow stuff and grasp stuff when it comes to concept, but with them, I feel like I'm following it pretty all right. Um, and then the end there, when they did the little battle, that was so fucking cool. And then the one in the end. Oh, I really, really love that. Ooh, uh, um, I'm gonna go ahead and listen to this B-side to look out for the album first listen that will be up soon after this. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you. I love you. Go and follow me on Instagram, guys. Go and follow me on Twitter. And yeah, goodbye. Oh!